While in Jerusalem, we stopped by the Ethiopian National Project to find out what they and Bob Marley have in common. The Ethiopian National Project, ENP, unites global Jewry, the government of Israel, and the Ethiopian Israeli community in its mission to advance the integration of Ethiopian Israelis into society. Our aim is now to give the opportunity to push them that if they educate themselves, every door is open for them. I know where was the Ethiopian community when they were in Ethiopia, after they came to Israel. And when I think where will be in the future, I think the most the young generation comes involved in the Israeli society in different places. We see them in the high-tech area, we see them in the politics, we saw them in the, in the medical area, we see in, in, in the army. I truly believe that the way to succeed in life is by studying. And what I like about this organization is this is what he does. He gives the children um, a chance to dream that they can do everything that they want. I think uh, the difference between Ethiopian immigrants, uh, Aliyah, uh, between other uh, people that came from uh, European, for example, countries, uh, is that in Ethiopia, most of the families, the parents didn't know, didn't go to university. So in the beginning, most of the children in Israel had a difficult, difficult to succeed in their school and because they didn't have the, um, their parents sitting with them, teaching them, giving them the tools how to study because they didn't get it from their parents and from the Another thing that we do is that we try to, to have a good connection between the parents and the children. So, for example, we have an Ethiopian dance class. And then after that, they go to their parents, and their parents suddenly know something that their children don't know. Also, they be very involved in uh, society. We're doing a lot of uh, activities that is about based on on society of giving because we're giving them, so they give it as, as well. I understand from doing a little bit of research that Ben and Jerry, mm -hmm. Bob Marley, yep. and EMP have come together to create an ice cream. Yes. Please explain. And also, because I knew this beforehand, mm. I actually headed out to the local market. And it's true, mm. you do have this Ben and Jerry satisfy my bowl, which I love. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, maybe we should just eat it while you explain it because people like me do that. Great. Okay, what's happening is that Ben & Jerry has partnered with Bob Marley One Love Foundation and for every Satisfy My Bowl you buy, we get 3% of the money. So I'll just keep buying a lot more than yes. I normally do. Try yes. Mm. Like everybody know Bob Marley, he's a Rastafari. Rastafari people usually believe in Ethiopia mm. and they have a connection to Ethiopia. Right. Also the Israeli Ethiopian people have a connection to Bob Marley. And then two white guys, Ben and Jerry, decided to add that into an ice cream. Mm-hmm, exactly. My life in Israel is very good. I love being living in Israel. I love the society. Every immigrant that comes to a, to a new country, you have a, an obstacle that you need to overcome. Right. But in the end of the day, this is the place that I love. I feel connected to. My historical roots, the Jewish historical roots, are so important to me also. I kind of want to just thank you and um, thank you. suggest that maybe we go outside on this mm -hmm. beautiful day and eat some more ice cream. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Because yeah. that's just always more contributions to ENP. Yes. Is the way yes. I'm going to look at eating Ben and Jerry's from now on. <laughs> yes, of course. Let's do that. Let's do it. Thank mm -hmm. you.